I would have loved to have been a physicist if I was smart enough, but I wasn't. I nerd out on the size of the universe and the expanse of time. It's just about putting your own life and your own self into a perspective of that expanse. When you do that, of course, you do things that are terrifying and new and exciting because, you know, it's all over soon. Just the concept of knowing that you don't know is a really good starting point for any conversation or any discussion. Spiritually, I'm agnostic, and it was only kind of recently that I realised that these two things actually married up quite neatly. A professional practice approach and, I guess, a personal approach um, of the ways of seeing the world. Well, my interest in this stuff was piqued by my grandmother. She painted the Australian landscape in a way that was really kind of painting the layer behind the image. My partner, Geordie, she's um, just recently started painting similar scenes. These windows that kind of challenge the viewer to impart their own meaning or to actually reflect inwards. I kind of revelled in the idea of being a novice, in celebrating despecialisation. It means that the concept or the process of design is always an iterative one. Here's one thing, here's another thing. It means you're never putting forward a preconceived idea. The brief is king, the solution is what we're always working towards, which to me is where the fun and the value of the profession of architecture actually sits. You know, Specialisation is brought about by a diminishing appetite for risk. We want to know what the outcome's going to be before we start. There's no progression in humanity, in knowledge, without risk. There has to be a place for it, otherwise, you know, you're walking in old tracks. Maybe that sort of thinking is why Space Market and Moana and many have been successes. I shouldn't have done them. I'm not an expert in these things. And I guess being in too deep, that sort of forces you to, to make it work. There's a the concept of the sublime, the beautiful and the picturesque. The sublime is always talked about as in having an element of terror to it. And maybe that's what we're after. Maybe we're after sublime experiences, you know, that you've actually got to be a little bit scared.